What up, my devil? Sensei Tudum here with another video for you. So today, I've got Ethereum. So those of you who don't know, I'm on Twitter, at Sensei Tudum. And it hasn't been the most active Twitter feed, so I'm trying to revive the feed a little bit and do a fairly similar, similar, fairly uh, semi-regular updates on an asset uh, just to have the feed active in some sort of way. And uh, you guys, through a poll, picked Ethereum. Um, so today, I, what I've been doing is I started uh, doing updates on the you know macro and then zooming in on a lower time frame, four hour, one hour, and giving different scenarios probabilistic scenarios that could be playing out based on Elliott Wave Theory, which is what I focus on. Those of you who don't know, I'm Sensei Tutum. I work at Trade Devils. Uh, I Elliott Wave is my thing. Um, I'm a certified Elliott Wave analyst through the Elliott Wave uh, International Master Designation, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, to be honest, I think that the level of knowledge required for that certification is quite low especially to call someone a master uh so well beyond that have courses that if you're a cweam is just like myself uh i got a nice course for you at trade devils that you could learn a lot more from um in any event uh that's my thing that's what i focus on so um right now you're looking at L oh back to the point of the video so we're gonna do ethereum today like i said but i want to uh discuss those different scenarios that we've been going over um, on Twitter and basically take you to the hard right edge, tell you which one I think is most probable. Now, of course, there's other scenarios that would be technically valid that are playing out that I'm not showing here, but those are irrelevant, right? Because some of these scenarios aren't even highly probable, right? I, you know, so many people always focus on what's possible and I focus on what's probable. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. And I'm just right now, we're not even going to talk about what you're looking at. This is something I just posted for members. Um, it's a potential it's a potential you know obviously there's multiple options for what this could happen contextually here after this wave so you know by the time you guys get this i'm recording this wednesday morning been up ooh, i've already been up a while so it's 7 30 in the morning uh but uh you guys you know on youtube won't see this till probably friday um members already got this chart anyway uh all right so uh just wanted to show that let's zoom out and talk about the probable scenarios on the larger time scale all the way to the hard right engine which is most probable uh, let's get out here to the one day so i won't go out beyond this well clearly don't need to so the most important thing to do an elliott wave i'm just going to talk a little bit why i draw this up the different scenarios and uh then we'll really get into it but i'll just talk while i draw because there's multiple scenarios but basically the most important well one of the most important things about elliott wave is to anchor your account on probabilistic scenario on probable scenarios on high as as i like to call it slap you in the face patterns these patterns are so obvious they slap you in the face and then there's plenty of indecision within the market beyond that so then you can sort of use this context of this high of this high quality of these high quality counts uh patterns that you have to sort of fill in the blanks on the rest of it right so that i think that that is one of the most or yeah one of the most important parts of practicing Elliott wave and i think that when people learn how to you have to see the thing about being able to do that in Elliott wave is that you know i hate to say it 99 percent of the people that you see out there uh, teaching it, or sh teaching it on Twitter, I should say, or showing it, don't know the theory enough to be able to, you know, work through the probabilities. So they can just show account and say, see, it's not invalid. It's, you know, it, it could be this, but they don't know the theory well enough to say that it's probable, any more or less probable than any other scenario, right? So that's, that's one of the things that I try to bring to the table is to show you guys that that's a possibility and that, uh, that you can do that. And, um, how to determine which right um of course you're not going to learn that just from watching these videos but uh in any event zoom out real quick so in case you guys were wondering i think this so one two i'm not going to get in there and dig all that out to show you
nope don't know what's up with this music sorry i just i just search stuff like uh hip-hop beats for videos and then uh look for something new and uh, this is a new new background i haven't played before it's uh it's interesting so far decent but that part right there was weird okay so Okay, so we'll talk about this degree first, and then we'll get into this degree next. So out here, I think there's two different scenarios. We have the two in here, or we have the uh, first three, first leg of a corrective, followed by this leg, then this leg. Uh, this would be so it would be a three three five or you know some sort of three 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 as opposed to just being a simple three wave now uh, in my updates that I've been showing for you, this you guys on this <laughs> of course all the Twitter experts are always out and one of, one of the first things I got was when I was showing this as a two was don't you think that's quite shallow for a two wave and I asked the guy I just said what do you, what do you think that a two wave should be you know how shallow do you how what is the high probability retracement area for a wave two in your estimation of course no answer um and this is like this is like most people that you find on twitter showing that wave at least know that right um but this is the difference between log scale and linear scale arithmetic right so log scale is super important especially to be able to dig out wave counts down in here when when you've got so much price action within this area that you can't even make this out right it's it's useful but you just have to know how to use it and i said in my video last week that you know i was gonna thinking potentially for last week's video making a video about uh, how people abuse log and don't know what they're doing that would be one way that they're calling that they don't that they would say that this is a shallow wave for a wave two right because it's it's it's, it's a 61.8 percent retracement like i think to the tick here hold on just pull off this. So this. And then take that off. Look at that. Right? Okay. So let's move on. Um, plenty adequate depth already. Plenty adequate retracement outside of this pattern to be an external retracement. It is plenty for a two wave. And Considering, again, plenty for a two-wave in either as far as external retracement. Um, but considering it's such a big one, too, you could, you could magnitude-wise, you could potentially expect a flat. Um, now, what are the problems with the flat? The, clearly, this strongly look at it as a three-wave. This here you know, strongly look at it as a three wave anchoring counts on, sh you know, on highly probable patterns um, and super strengthened by the fact that now, you know, because when you see a three wave like this, it could potentially be a one, two, one, two. But if you break out of the space trend channel, now you violate a guideline for expectation of a one, two, one, two. You haven't broken any rules, but. And, and this is also one of the things people love to do is like, oh, it's just a guideline I'm breaking. That's, yeah, you do, you, you're also the guy that's going to say like, oh, you can't trade based on Elliott Wave because you don't fucking follow. <laughs> Guidelines are there for a reason, right? Um, anyway, so this is a big detractor. The breakout of here for this to be a one, two, one, two. And I just recently showed that on Twitter because price is developing as i'm you know trying to string out these posts to you guys so you know obviously i had posted a, all the string of shares that i was going to give to twitter you know a week two weeks ago uh in the discord just so they'd have them um but you know they don't need that they don't need this this sort of kind of elementary counts honestly i don't think that if you're a tdu member you really need uh but of course i want to make sure they have any content that's going to go on twitter well, well before it goes there but you know it would have been better to share the idea here 
although this does eliminate the one two one two, it would be just you know spicier for the for the story if it wasn't sort of quote unquote eliminated from highly probable potential because this does kind of look more three wave than five but if you go through and dig it out it's especially when you consider that the three is ending up here it gives a decent magnitude to the four relative to the two it's you know it's not the prettiest but again we're anchoring around it and now you know you're sort of a toss-up before you break out right so really with this it could be either way until it breaks up out of here and then you know that this is very unlikely to be a one two one two now another thing which is why the 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 motive wave and i'm going to give you guys a little secret the motive wave this wave two in motive wave here has been my primary and if anybody's painted if you paid attention to any of my videos ever you would already know that because i called i called bottom end bitcoin shared with you guys didn't necessarily talk about ethereum which ethereum bitcoin pretty much the same chart right called bottom end way back here you know so that's that's sort of uh you know and i call bottom in bitcoin here so and, and you know i've taken let's say long positions trades long swings here here and will likely because i'm sort of locked in now with this and we'll talk about this in a second um bitcoin this doesn't matter just ethereum it does um that the bullish scenarios are just way more probable at this point. Well, and we'll dig in tighter into the hard right edge here in a bit because there's still some uncertainty on what this could be, right? So this could either be a bigger three wave or sh smaller, shorter one. Same difference in here, right? So we'll get to that in a second. But another reason and the reason that this was already my primary, the green count, is because um, we haven't reached, as a three wave here, we haven't reached the adequate depth retracement for a sideways style almost basically could be you know and that's why i showed it as a potential because you know it is a guideline damn close um not quite there um but it was already you know in the negative column for that count um now let's dig in let's get down here to the two hour all right and as i showed on twitter one poss there was two possibilities for this and one would be same thing as before simple three wave to here x wave to here y wave to here and another thing that because price developed i didn't get to talk about prior to now with you guys you public guys is that you know when we were back down here is when we started sharing this and again i was already long this was such a super high quality area to be long at based on the bitcoin chart and of course this chart across the whole crypto space because you had multiple scenarios multiple probabilistic scenarios which these you know this being the motive so this being corrective especially after this the perfect zigzag was already well front running we had the bearish alternative way back in the background but you had most of the probabilistic scenarios where you were price was going up as a trader contextually super strong time to get your money in and i did and i was made sure to let the members know that they should do the same um in any event uh now we have met an adequate retracement for the x wave to break out of here uh if we were going to have a multiple zigzag now why why does the multiple zigzag exist in markets well typically because we haven't had an adequate depth or time retracement with the first leg and i think relative to this wave we can look at this wave and say that it is adequate we could have this but I would lean this, right? Um, so there's that. And then there's the whole fact that this was quite corrective. And this, and, you know, people were calling this a triangle and I was never about that. And this is the Bitcoin or the Ethereum chart. Cause again, that will say it a million times are pretty much the same. Uh, I was never about that because if it were to finish here, it's not adequate the next wave. So that's why I was able to say with strong conviction that we you know you should get long down in this area um let's see okay i don't know why i deleted that
All right, that music sucks. Sorry, I'm turning it off. Um, all right, so now that's the basically, again, that was the two scenarios. So what does that mean? That means that I think that we have a motive wave playing off of here. And this is ugly. This is real ugly. I don't know. Three, three, five, something like that, right? And then this would need to be... Three wave in play didn't quite get to the one six one eight. Maybe, just maybe, it's a one two one two. Now we can go ahead and draw that. Use our geometry to our favor. It appears that it has already shown to be useful. Now, going back to the count that I showed you right at the beginning. Potential for this, right? Um, see if we can build a confluence case here. Mm hmm. All right, see? Nice little confluence hot box in here. Um, see, does anything else stand out? No, that's good for now, but that's a pretty good confluence hot box. So, honestly, this could be a three for going up for a five. This is a giant two, and it's clearly a sideways style. If this plays out as shown, sideways style, and if you're still in the video, you're in for a treat, sideways styles usually precede or proceed, proceed or follow a, a, uh, a, a great leaks, an extended wave. We have sideways, sideways, not extended. This could be big time, boys. And this is actually, I'm just thinking about this live, so this is not a thought that I've had or shared with Discord yet, but it will certainly share with it soon, share with them right after this video so that they'll see this before they see this video on Thursday, um, and certainly way before public sees it on Friday. Let's do that. Forget about what degree it is, I'm just trying to show. Take this down. Okay. One, two, one, two. So if basically we're about to potentially, if this were to play out, and I honestly think that there's a decent chance for it, the three of the three, big three of the three. So I would say something like this, should that bullishness play out sort of, sort of minimum often, something like that, you see, at least up into this area, which is then, is that all time high? So if it's the Super Bowl, we're off to all-time highs. And this is not like just showing bull porn, kind of like I showed that flat count on Twitter yesterday for bear for the bear porn. This is actually, and I hate when people do that. They're just like, oh, look, I'm trying to draw it up. This is what it could be. This is actually potentially the most probable scenario in my view. Think about this. Yeah, I'd say, you know, it would be nice if we had two scenarios where it's either the mega bull where it's up. Of course, we do have two scenarios where this could be sort of a shorter three, put in a four, going up for a five for a, for a first motive here. Um, that's definitely a possibility. You got the mega bull. 
that's a possibility. And then you have the X wave, which is, you know, a possibility. You know, it's not, there's nothing, there's no reason to rule this out. It's just, it's not needed, right? We have formed an adequate retracement here of this wave, so it's not needed. And then, of course, there's the bear scenario where this is a one, two, one, two. To me, that's the only bear scenario where we're violating guidelines. Um, yeah, that's the only valid bear, bear scenario, and it's not a good one, personally. Could still very well be that, but uh, I think it's either this WXY or one, two, three, putting in four, five for a starting weird little one wave or mega bowl here. So either way, if this is a four or a two that's projected to finish in the area of a four, it's a nice spot to get long right now, boys. It's a nice spot to get long. I'm going to clean this up and share it to the Discord. I think that's it for the video. So now, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to keep the videos relatively up to date. Uh, or not videos. The the, uh, the the Twitter feed relatively up to date with Ethereum updates. You know, anywhere between the five minute and the one hour chart from this point forward. But this is my primary. I'm going to go and just, you know, not just for fun, just because straight probable expectation. I'm going to go for the Mega Bowl. And, and it is the most fun as well. But I'm going to go for the Mega Bowl, one, two, one, two, as my most probable expectation. And uh, so, yeah, like if you do, and follow me on Twitter if you don't. Follow me on the YouTubes if you don't. All right, boys, toot out.